Hello YouTube. So I had a hangover after New Year's and uh, so I pulled out your old Commodore 64 just to play around with that a bit. And uh, you see the setup I have here. Uh, back here we have an uh, SD2IZ device and over here we have an Epix Fast load reloaded cartridge. Um, and I'm just wondering, or thought to myself, these SD2IC devices has gotten a lot of flack lately. If at least when I look around on uh, retro forums on uh, on on Reddit, uh, various subreddits and stuff, everybody's saying, well, they've got incompatible incompatibility issues. They don't work well with the fast load cartridge and. Uh, not all games work on them, and you should really go and get yourself a what is it called a Pi fifteen forty one uh, setup instead because that's a full disk emulation and stuff. But actually, the, the the solution for a lot of people, I think, if you're like me, uh, you've bought your sixty four in some sort of a bundle deal. Well, you got some. You got some joysticks, and maybe you got, like I have here, you got a disc station, and you got a box of discs. Actually, I got four different disc stations, four boxes of discs. And then the solution is actually pretty easy. What we do is we simply go in here, we load up the file browser first. from here uh, then we go down to DC1D I think uh, this is actually an old version that doesn't matter it works this is draw copy when it finishes loading And this actually, you can browse, not just the current mounted disk in your, uh, uh, from your SD to IEC device, but uh, you can actually browse the whole file structure. So I can go backspace for dear up, then I can browse the files, go in here and find, say, uh, I think this works fine from from disk uh, or from the SD to IC device, but let's say I wanted to copy this onto a real disk because I had some issue with it. Then we just find an empty disk here. Oh, I don't know if these are empty. There's all sorts of crap on it, but nothing important. And switch back. Let's. Uh, Load the directory and see if there's anything important. Some sort of ritual and mini mini. I don't know what that is. Let's check the other side. Yeah, no, I should have uh, <laughs> prepared better. There's nothing on the other side. So let's say we want to we switch it down back to this, then we just say F8 for this copy. All the commands are out here. It takes uh, a little while to get used to, but all you do is press F8, copy disk from device 9 to device 8. Really? Yes. And now it starts the disk copying process. Somebody's uh, actually... Oh, it sounds like I may have a bad disk. It sounds a bit bad. But if I had a good disc, this would work. <laughs> and when we're done, then we'll have an actual physical disc with our game on it that will work 100% with the fast load cartridge and everything because it's running off the real hardware. So, you know, 
I don't really see the SD to IC devices as a replacement for a real disk drive. For me, it's just a means of getting the disk images off the internet and onto the Commodore. That's really all I'm focused about, uh, focusing on with, with this device. I don't really care about um, the full compatibility and stuff because I have the real hardware that, that, that that's definitely compatible, you know? So, yeah. This is, this is a short video. I just wanted to, to point out, you know, you don't have to go full out uh, Pi uh, 1541 setup uh, because that will cost at least twice as much as the SD to IC device, probably more like three times as much. And if you've already got a disk station uh, sitting around and a bunch of disks, then you don't really need it. You can just use that if it's functional, which uh, well, most of my stuff is so. <laughs> Yeah, that was all for now. I'll leave a link for the dry copy software down in the description. So if you have an SD to IC device and you want to do this yourself, uh, you can find it there. And if you want to see more stuff about Commodore computers and all sort of other uh, tech related stuff, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to uh, like the video. Thank you, goodbye.